Recently, I was replaying Skyrim, as I like to do about once a year, and I was having an absolute blast right up until I decided I wanted to craft some Daedric armor. I went from enjoying the gorgeous landscape and the intricate lore of Tamriel to watching this animation over and over again. Okay, let's be honest, I used the shopkeeper resetting trick to get the ore I needed, but the point is still the same. After having a fantastic time exploring and adventuring, crafting brought a terrible monotony to my playthrough, and Skyrim is not the only game where this is the case. You see, crafting is a massive part of video games. I mean, look at Minecraft, it's more than half the name. <laughs> Every game nowadays feels the need to throw a crafting system into their games, and I'm tired of developers feeling like that's necessary. I mean, it's not all bad, I like the concept of crafting. Roleplay-wise, I love the idea of my character learning to smith better armor, brew better potions, and enchant better enchantments over time. And from a game design perspective, it's a form of downtime, which is always important. I mean, if you're always going Rambo mode, killing enemies, you're eventually gonna get a bit numb to the action, and it's not gonna feel as good. Even the most hardcore games like Doom give you meaningful downtime to make that flashy, exciting combat portion of the game feel even better. But in practice, crafting feels like an outdated game mechanic, and though it sounds good in theory, it usually ends up being more of a nuisance in the long run, and often it's just lazy game design. Rather than having me quest around the world and having me experience the story and the lore to get gear, crafting is the tedious route. But I'll get into everything about this pillar of game design today, so stay tuned. Today, we'll discuss why crafting in video games sucks. First, let's continue to discuss Skyrim, because by and large, it can be used to represent modern RPGs. Most crafting systems I've encountered in games play out just like in the Elder Scrolls, and Skyrim represents one of the biggest wastes of potential in a crafting system I have ever seen. In Skyrim, crafting is a circular process. You gather materials, bring them to a forge or a workbench, craft your items, gain XP, and unlock the next tier of crafting, and then rinse and repeat. Now obviously anything will sound boring if you put it like that, so let's get a bit more into it. You see, crafting is needed to get the absolute best gear in the game. If you want to be shrouded from head to toe in the most badass armor, you have to be able to craft it and upgrade it yourself. But relative to its alternatives, crafting is the most shallow and uninventive way of getting gear. First, to craft the best items in the game, you have to unlock the higher tiers of crafting through the skill tree. Now, as with anything in Skyrim, you unlock the higher tiers by doing things relevant to the skill. Say you wanted to improve your ability to fight. You'd fight enemies to improve your skill. Say you wanted to improve your ability to sneak around and evade foes. You'd have to do just that. The more you sneak around, the better you get at sneaking. And it makes sense, and it's rewarding, because to unlock the high tiers, you have to experience being not very good at first. But that gameplay progression does not translate to crafting. Yes, you have to go through the monotony, but the gameplay doesn't change. All that changes is the items you craft. Whether you are taping two iron bars together to make your first sword, or taking the bones off of slain dragons to form your ultimate armor set, you're still just hitting a single button. There's no gameplay element. Your crafting sets don't vary in quality based on how well you as a player can craft. You just slog through an arbitrary skill tree until you unlock the one you want, then go through the monotony of tracking down the ingredients, and then finally, you tap one button to craft. And instead of fighting a multitude of foes across Nern on your journey to mastering one-handed combat, the roleplay of crafting to max level winds up with you having to explain to Mr. Warbear here why you have an army's supply of iron daggers in your pockets. I should bash your face in after all you've done. Now, look at the other way that Skyrim lets you attain weapons and armor. For example, let's look at the crafted gear to one of the unique item sets in the game, the Nightingale armor. This armor has a unique look, unique bonuses, and is a unique reward. In order to earn the right to wear this armor, you have to be initiated into the Thieves Guild, do a bunch of missions to earn their trust, discover treason within the guild, and finally become initiated to their higher ranks where they finally deem you worthy to wear this elite set of armor. You spend hours of meaningful gameplay on the adventure to earning this armor set, meaning when you do eventually get it, not only is it a cool new look, but it means something to equip it. But here's the problem, if you want the best stats, which most people who play games do, you'll just ditch this set for a generic, upgraded crafted armor set later in the game. And upgrades are fine, they're normal, but the gameplay comparison between acquiring the Nightingale armor and the crafted armor isn't even close to the same. Earned armor will always feel better to get, but crafted armor will typically make your character stronger, especially if you apply some crafty alchemy hijinks, which you know I'm gonna do. But even in Skyrim, where I loathe the crafting system, it does have some good parts. 
To be a good piece of game design, I believe the system has to provide meaningful, engaging gameplay, enhance or progress the story, or otherwise provide a deeper level of understanding to the game and its world. In Skyrim, crafting almost gets there. I mean, as we know, Skyrim is the tale of the Dovahkiin. You're a legendary dragonborn that prophecies foretold would save the Nords from the wrath of the newly returned dragons. So though there's tons of side quests and lore outside of this, the heart of the game has to do with slaying dragons. To accentuate that, the developers let you craft top tier weapons and armor using the very bones of your slain dragon foes. Lore wise, I absolutely love this. I mean yeah, I wish there was a bit of a storyline specific to the crafting of this armor, but the idea of the dragonborn lugging his recently acquired dragon bones into town and shaping them into gear to use to then fell more dragons is exactly the kind of stuff I want to be doing in a game. And the same can kind of be said about Daedric gear, but the pros basically end there and we're once again stuck with the cons. Of the 10 tiers of crafted armor, only two begin to grasp at being relevant and fun. And to even unlock the ability to craft in the fun tiers, you have to grind through 90 levels of pointless iron dagger smithing first. But like I said, even though I'm talking about Skyrim, you could really replace the game with anything else and the argument would be largely the same. Take The Witcher for example. Aside from the neat little scavenger hunts you go on to get the recipes in the first place, I always hated tracking down the ingredients. And please, if you know of a game that deviates from this and makes crafting feel meaningful and fun, please let me know in the comments below. But just to drive my point home, I'm gonna quickly touch on two vastly different systems of crafting in video games, just to emphasize that crafting systems rarely turn out to be fun. I'm even gonna tackle the white whale of crafting in games, but first, let me talk about WoW. In World of Warcraft, like with all MMOs, crafting is the backbone of the economy, which is player driven. Just by having that, crafting has a purpose. You become a tradesman, doing the dirty work so you can sell your goods on the auction house for profit. And as of now, that sounds awesome. There's a purpose here and it makes sense lore-wise, but it's absolutely no fun at all. In fact, in WoW, and again, this applies to all MMOs, whenever I craft, it's all about figuring about how to spend the least amount of time actually crafting so I can get the hell out of the crafting menus and back into the world. Just to prove my point, look at what my screen looks like when I'm crafting. Almost nothing here is developed by Blizzard, it's just a series of add-ons that make crafting as mindless and as quick a process as possible. And I mean, if you think about it, that's what makes crafting lucrative in these games anyways. Nobody wants to go through the mind-numbingly dull process of crafting items, so those who do get rewarded with gold. But enough about WoW, let's talk about the most crafting-oriented game that has ever existed. Of course, I'm talking about Minecraft, but first, because I know you're ready to grab your pickaxes and attack me in the comments, just know that I'm a massive fan of the game. I mean, look at my top videos. And I don't think they should remove it from the game, I just think it's a flawed system to begin with. But let me explain. When you think of why you play Minecraft, chances are you think of three things. Creativity, exploration, and friends. Minecraft is equally a fantastic creative outlet and a beautiful, interesting world to explore. And both those experiences are multiplied by playing with your good friends. We'll refer to this as the core of Minecraft. Now think of where Minecraft's various systems come into play here. First, procedural generation. The fact that each and every time you play Minecraft, you're faced with a different world. Obviously this lends to the core of Minecraft by having a world that's procedurally generated. Every time you load up a world, you're faced with a new exciting experience. Now another system, mining and gathering blocks. This gives you a purpose to go out and to explore. Another system, placing blocks and building. This gives you an endless creative outlet in which you can use gathered materials to build whatever you so desire, but usually I'm gonna build a four x four wooden house. The mob system. This gives you an incentive to creatively defend yourself and creates tons of fun moments with friends. Even more monotonous systems like food and armor are systems in place to entice you to explore so you can acquire the resources you need to explore even further. But now think about the crafting system. In my opinion, it's only in place as a way to take the resources you gather and turn them into something usable. Even in a game that has crafting in the title, it's just the boring step you take in between the fun parts. I mean, sure, you could say crafting adds to the core of Minecraft because it gives you a way to further express your creativity, but really the fun there is in the gathering and in the utilization of the stuff you craft. The actual system of crafting is just a means to an end, and while it's definitely necessary, even in a game that's literally called Minecraft, it is one of the worst systems in the game. I mean, has anyone ever played Minecraft and said, wow, it was really fun spelunking, fighting monsters, avoiding lava, coming across diamonds, but oh yeah, my favorite part was sitting in the crafting window, googling where to put the stuff I found. No, everyone would rather mine than craft, and crafting in Minecraft is just another tedious system that only serves as a chore you have to complete on your way to the actual gameplay. So with all that said, how should we fix this issue that's plaguing modern games? Well, thankfully, as you probably expected, 
I have a few ideas. First, despite what most developers seem to think, most games don't need a crafting system. Do I really want to have to craft ammo in my zombie parkour game? Is that really going to be a fun system? Do I want to have to go through tedious time-gated crafting every single time I want a new gun in Warframe? No, absolutely not. In 90% of cases, crafting systems are forced into games that don't benefit at all by having the system in place. I mean, sure, taking them out requires a bit of thinking as to how you're going to make the system work instead, but it leads to a better game in the end. But if you must have crafting, I have a few guidelines to make sure that you're not just slamming your head into the keyboard every time you approach a forge. First, crafting should feel important. Minecraft actually nails this one. Crafting is how you transform materials as you build your world from the ground up. It feels like it's there for a reason. But in a lot of games, especially RPGs, crafting feels like it's just there to be there. If you want crafting to feel like it has a purpose, developers should follow in the footsteps of games like The Witcher, where despite its flawed crafting system, at least it makes sense. You go out adventuring for lost recipes, bring them back to master armorsmiths, show them the recovered schematics, and leave with a shiny new armor set. Well, after you travel all over the world picking up the forgettable materials that you need to actually craft them. <sighs> Witcher, you were so close. Which brings me to my second point. At no point in an RPG do I want to have to go and scour the entire world for arbitrary materials, let alone have to watch a mining animation that makes me want to shoot an arrow into my goddamn knee. I mean, like I said, I love good downtime, but that should be you in town, interacting with citizens, murdering everyone in town before you go back and reload, or maybe story-based exploration. It should never be this monstrosity. Third, I never want to feel forced to do it. Gating progress behind your shitty crafting system is the fastest way to ruin a game in my mind. It takes otherwise fun mechanics and makes them have a glaring downside that's going to cancel out the positives. If you have crafted gear, make it statistically similar to the story exploration based alternatives at your character level, so I never feel like I have to use the crafting system if it does suck. Because chances are, it will. Now finally, the biggest piece. Should I choose to do it, the actual crafting should be fun. I've never done it, but I feel like smithing a sword requires a bit more effort than a singular button press. I mean, think about what's happening when you forge a sword. You're dealing with molten metal, swinging a massive hammer around like you're a Greek god to turn an otherwise inert object into something you can bring into battle. So why does crafting in video games feel like I'm tapping a spoon on a table? This should be something epic, and in games that love to deal with epic scenarios, lend a tiny bit to one of your most important systems. At the end of the day, crafting has become lazy game design. In its current state, it will never be more fun than actually going out and engaging with the game, so forcing players to use your outdated system to get the best gear is just not the right way to do things. And if it doesn't give the best gear, players will never opt to use it, so it might be worth just removing altogether at that point. Even though there are a million better ways to give characters rewarding upgrades, for some reason game designers keep putting a hammer in our hands and an anvil in front of us, and tell us to do the work that they were too lazy to do themselves. But that might be a bit harsh, because as players, we are half the problem. Often games give us rewarding content that find cool and unique upgrades, like the Nightingale set in Skyrim, but for some reason, as players, we can't settle for that which isn't the best in the game, so we'll forego that amazing experience and instead spend hours crafting an embarrassing amount of daggers. But I'll talk a bit more about that next week, so stay tuned. As always, massive thanks to my patrons for making this possible, and thanks to you for watching. This has been Meraki, and until next time, bye bye. Aww.